Hertz, thanks for doing this from Winnipeg. Brody and Brownie back here uh, in the studio. So time ticking down, Carlson with the puck on the right point. Uh, it was deflected before you got it. How much was your mind on the clock? How much time was left? And how much on your mind was seeing the puck deflected your way? Yeah, I, I knew it wasn't much time, you know, because we've been there for a while. And and when I saw the bouncing puck, I knew I have to get to the net. You know, that's how do you score, especially in six and five. You know, you never score like top in because it's a lot of guys. So you just try to get to the net. And and uh, I was really happy. I, I could I could tie it up, you know, 10 seconds left because, you know, a lot of times this season it was other way. So it's nice to get, you know, bounce and tie it up late. Well, Hurdle, just a fantastic job Curtis here in the studio I work most of my days as you know with youth trying to teach them how to do what you did and that's be prepared in a situation where obviously you got to expect the puck that one bounced off of one of the defenders stick over to you what are you thinking in that moment when Carlson's winding up for the slap shot what's going through your mind and how do you prepare yourself to get that puck off your stick in a hurry in a fashion that can essentially tie the game yeah, you know, when you see D, you know, try to get to the net, and especially, you know, we got extra guy, you, you have to crush the net, you know, you you have to attack and uh, look for the spot and, and have the sticks on the ice because a lot of times, you know, uh, you have stick in the air and the puck just go by you, uh, by you. But if you have stick on the ice and you're ready, you know, you, you have chance to score. And and you, I just try to get quickly as possible because you know goalies are really good in this league right now. And and you know he, when he don't see it, you have to just put it on the net quick as possible. And and maybe just don't even look for the score, maybe for rebounds, but just get on the net. That's most important. And you know sometimes you miss it, and that's the worst can happen because you can even get a rebound. Tommy, a two-point game for you tonight. Obviously, uh, Eric Carlson's been a big part of you scoring this year. A lot of helpers from him. Uh, two-point night for him as well, too. Do you see him instinctively? Do you see him getting to 100 points this year? And if the answer is yes, what leads you to believe that he can do it down this final stretch? Yeah, I, I believe him. You know, it's... it's uh, you know, this year is amazing. I, I knew now every time what he will actually do, it's a lot of fun because, you know, with him, I never have to look, you know, for me. When I see him in the puck, I can just skate head down and I know he will put it on my stick. You know, sometimes when you get the puck middle, you look, you know, if you don't get hit. But from him, it never will happen because he see the game differently and and he was the best player for us all year long. And, and a lot of it is just because of him. But what he's doing on the ice is... You know, amazing, especially you know in ozone, because every time you think he's looking to the right, but he he will give you to the left. So every time you with him on the ice, you have to be ready because you can expect it back every single time. Because sometimes you think that's Im impossible to get it, but he will get you on the tape. Hey, last thing before we let you go, I remember covering your first NHL game, remembering what you were like back then, and and you know what the game was like, and how you were just you know kind of still growing as you play alongside William Eklund. Do you see a little bit of yourself in him right now? Yeah, you know, it's, you know, for him, uh, I think it wasn't easy too because last year I think he, he got this, you know, pretty good start. He, he got back to the Sweden and now work all your heart in AHL. And I think he showed up really good last two games, you know, and, and, you know, I have to be still better to him, you know, like how, you know, you just say Pav, Jumbo, Pare, all these guys I grow up, you know, make me better an HL player and what I get here, I have to help, you know, him, you know, and we got, you know, Z now with me, two young guys, and I want to help them and, and help them make the game easier, help them out what to do and and be there for them because that's how you do it, you know, when you get help and you're young, now you have to s switch sides and be the guy to help young guys and grow up and make them better. I would say you could buy him a beer, but I still think that's a, a year away. Yeah, in, not in, in the States. Country, you in a, in a, maybe yeah, in but we, <laughs> we from Europe, so oh, that's from that's 18. Right. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Hertz, thanks for doing this, buddy. Hey, congrats again on being a dad twice over. Appreciate this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Busy times for the Hurdle family, and obviously Tomas making the most of it.